Okay, so now let's address the rather embarrassing fact that we can't actually kill our zombies. Uh, so it's not much of a zombie game at the moment. And uh, we need to sort that out ASAP. So back in index.js, we're going to create ourselves a bullet hit test function. This will take in an array of bullets, an array of zombies, our bullet radius, and our zombie radius. So we want to check every single one of our bullets in our bullet array so we'll do a for each for every single bullet and for every single bullet we want to go through every single one of our zombies but as well as needing our zombie we also need the index of that zombie in our array so the actual corresponding index of that zombie in our array. And you'll see why we need that in a moment. Now we could totally use uh, Victor to find the distance between our zombie and our bullet. But let's do this old school way because we're not actually got, uh, we actually got Victor in this uh, index.js and actually it's pretty handy to know how to do this old school fashion. So let's do this. So we find the difference in X between the zombie position and the bullet position and the difference in Y between the zombie position dot y and the bullet position dot y and then we use basic Pythagoras to work out what is essentially the hypotenuse the distance between the two points. So we have to square dx, so dx times dx, and then we have to square dy, so dy times dy. And we don't really need any brackets because it will do the multiplications before the, uh, the add. And then we take the square root of those two added together, i.e. basic Pythagoras, and that will give us our distance. So easy enough to do. We probably don't need Victor to help us out with this one. This is finding the distance between the centers of the zombie and the bullet. But if you think about it, they touch on their edges or their circumferences. And so they'll touch when the distance apart is those two, the two radiuses added together. It's the easiest way to think about it really. And so if we add the two radiuses together here, like so, then if the distance is less than those two radiuses added together, then they are definitely colliding. And so what do we want to do? Well, we definitely want to remove the zombie from the array because we're keeping an array of zombies that we need to update. So this one, we definitely don't want to update anymore. And so we need to remove it. And this is why we need our index. So you remove an item out of an array. If you're given the index of that item, you can use splice. You say uh, zombies.splice, then the index of the zombie you want to remove, and then you just want to remove 
that one item. So it's index comma one. That's a good one to remember because that comes up a lot. And then we want to kill our zombie. And we haven't got that zombie.kill method yet. And we actually don't have this zombie.position property yet. So we'll actually uh, do a getter for that and we'll do a kill method for killing the zombie. So let's go away and just do that. Let's just save that for the moment. And let's update our zombie. Um, let's put it underneath our update. So let's do position first. So like I say, um, we'll do a getter. And this is simply this dot zombie dot position. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, now let's do kill. And this is pretty straightforward as well in that we just want to remove it from our stage because we don't want it to be visible anymore. So we can do remove child this dot zombie. Now if we had any fancy animations or anything like that then of course we could do all that in here as well. So it's Good, although this is just a simple one-liner for kill, and we could definitely just put that directly into uh, index.js. Probably the kill method is going to get more complex as we add uh, sprites and things, so it's good to have the kill method uh, for when things get a little bit more complicated. Okay, so we have this bullet hit test. Do we just need to call it now? And of course we want to call it on every tick. So in the ticker and we do bullet hit test. And we're passing it in bullets, which is gonna be player dot shooting dot bullets. I hope that makes sense. Uh, so we have this shooting object in player, it's obviously based on the shooting class, and in the shooting class, if you remember right now, let's just kind of have a look, in the shooting class we've got the bullet, all the bullets, so that's why that works. Zombies, well, our spawner holds all our zombies in the spawns array. So in spawner, we have this spawns array that holds all our zombies. And then we need our bullet radius, which I really can't remember what it is. Um, bullet radius of eight. Eight and zombie radius, and again, can't remember what that is. Ah, oh, 16. Okay, sixteen. So let's save that and see if that works. Wow. First time it looks like, yeah. Cool. So we can now kill our zombies. Happy days.